Good morning, guys. Good morning. And I am so glad that you are here with me today on this Monday, on this Mind Your Mentality Monday. Can you believe it? We're almost through this year. Well, listen, I just wanted to reach out and just say something on this Mind Your Mentality Monday. And the one thing, you know, when I took a poll several weeks ago, I, I heard you chosen ones. A lot of you are having some financial stress right now because things are so inflated and everything is just seems to be going just up, 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 right? Well, first of all, I want you to know that I am working on, right now as we speak, a course for you, a financial course, and I will be launching it as soon as we are done with it. And that course right there is bringing you into the mindset that you must have in order for you to get on the frequency that God has when it comes to abundance in your life. And I'm so excited. I will let you know as soon as it is available and I will be dropping it and running it on special in the description box as soon as it's available. But I want you to understand this, that you can't worship God and money. You have to love one or hate the other. You, you can't worship God and money. And I think that as believers, some of us, we have a very dysfunctional relationship with our money because we have been taught that money is evil. No, money is not evil. It's the love of money. It's the things that people are willing to do for money that makes money evil. I want you to understand that in order to attract wealth in your life, you have to show that you are a good steward of what you already have. And what we have to do as a chosen group is learn to take our mind and adjust our mind. Because many of us, we're on the wrong frequency. So we have to adjust our mind and say, God, you know what? I'm grateful for what I do have. And I understand that if I'm a good steward of what I do have, then you will bless me with more. I thank you for what I have. I'm going to hold this up to heaven and indeed it will multiply. I want you to understand, chosen ones, that money is a mentality and money is an energy. So when you sit down and you think about your finances, what are the first thoughts that come to your mind? Do you have thoughts like, I don't have enough of it? Oh my God, I just don't know how I'm going to pay my bills this month. Everything I have is going out in expenses. It's just certain people can attract wealth. I can't. Money is not a good thing to have. Money makes people evil. It's never enough. What, what are your thoughts about money? I would love to know. Because as an electromagnetic human being, I want you to understand that whatever you feel about money, whatever your core, be core belief is about money, that is going to be your experience when it comes to your finances. I want you to understand that money is an energy. It is an energy. Just like love is an energy, peace is an energy. It's all spiritual. And when we can get our mind adjust it and realize that regardless to what we have been taught and regardless to what we have been lied to about, that you come from an abundant place. It is the will of God for you to prosper in this earth. It doesn't matter what the economy is doing. It doesn't matter about stock market fluctuations. It doesn't matter about you being laid off from your job. It doesn't matter about inflation. The only thing that matters when it comes to you attracting wealth in your experience is your core belief in what you feel that you deserve. 
what you feel you deserve. Money is an energy that is waiting to flow freely in your life. Money is not supposed to be hoarded. It's not supposed to be hidden. Money flows freely. You know, I talked about yesterday, a fountain that flows, like God is this fountain that flows. God wants money to flow freely into your life and ceaselessly into your life. He wants money to flow so abundantly in your life that not only do you change your life with it, but you're able to reach out and change other people's lives with it. You know, it, the scripture says that it'll be easier for a camel to enter through the eye of a needle than from a rich man to enter into the kingdom of heaven. You know, it, you know, when you have money, sometimes your mentality changes. Rich people, sometimes they have a poor mentality and that they feel that they have to keep everything to themselves. The purpose of abundance and the purpose of having a lot of money is so it can flow freely in your life so that you can take it and plant it in places and improve your environment. So you can take it and plant it in places and bless people in your immediate life. So you can take it and plant it in your community and do something for somebody that doesn't have the resources. The whole purpose of money is for it to flow continuously and ceaselessly into your experience. So I want you to think about today on this mind, your mentality. How do you feel about money? Do you feel money is evil? Do you feel that you're just going to have money when you get to heaven? Honey, God said that whoever believes will have an abundant life will have life. I came, Jesus said, so that you can have life and have it to the fullest. That means abundantly. Abundantly in every aspect, aspect of abundance, including your money. God don't want your money funny. He doesn't want your money in your pockets to dry out. It is his will for you to hook up to the fountain of God so money will flow freely into your experience so that you can put it to good use for the kingdom of heaven. He wants you to produce in this environment. He puts you here to produce. He puts you here to create. He puts you here to bring the kingdom principles and mindset and light it up down here in this dark place. And the question now becomes, what are you going to do to get your mind into the alignment and the frequency and your life in sequence with the abundant flow of God? Mwah! Peace! because I believe in you. Bye now.